Hello friends, welcome to my tutorial. In pre I will teach you on how to configure load balancing in FortiGate. The load balancing that I focus today is between two uh, internet connections. So, as you know, the purpose of doing uh, load balancing, we want our network to have a better performance and keep active or keep our abilities. So, there are seven steps that I will uh, configure in this load balancing, as you can see. So, now first, uh, we need to set up the ISP. Okay, the internet connection from your provider. Now let's go to our FortiGate together. Okay, first I need to go to uh, set up the interface for my ISP. Let's say your FortiGate have already uh, connected to two ISP. In this scenario, I will put uh, port one, my ISP. One will connect to my port one, so I will rename this one. Okay, when I name it, it make me easy to remember this port. Okay, port 1, I will put ISP 1, and then row as when. Okay, and then you need to uh, put the IP address that you get from your ISP provider. In this, uh, you can uh, put manual if you get the uh, static IP, or you get PLE, you can also uh, complete over here. But I use the DHCP, so I will use the DHCP in this scenario. Okay. This one is just a simple step. Okay. And then my port 2 is connect to ISP2. So I will configure my ISP2 here. It is do the same thing as ISP1. I will put ISP2. ISP when. And then this one is the IP that you get from your ISP. It's including your uh, public IP, your gateway, your DNS. Okay. And then make sure that you have enabled HTTP pings, and then you just click OK. Okay. So after ISP configuration, we need to set up our LAN. Okay. So my LAN port will connect to port four. Okay. This is your LAN. This LAN uh, I have created. So I will show you that. Okay, so this one you just enter your list name, LAN, okay, row as LAN, and then the IP address of your LAN. Okay, here is my IP address of the LAN. Okay, and then I will uh, use uh, the HP server, okay, to my client from 2 to uh, 254. Okay. And then after you already set up the IP address for your client, including uh, network mask IP range, okay, then just click OK. So let's say that the interface of uh, ISP and of our uh, staff LAN already created. The next step, let's follow together. We need to go and enable the load LAN and SD band. Okay, so you go to your system here. And then you find the feature visibility. Okay, make sure that the S load balancing must be on. Okay, this one uh, for the if you have an enable, you make sure that you have enable this one. And for the SDN interface also, if you don't enable, you have to enable this one as well. Okay, it may click apply. Okay, another step, step four, after we enable load balancing, step four, we need to configure SD WAN. Okay. The purpose of SD WAN is to combine the multi WAN together or multi internet connection. So you go to network, SD WAN soon. Okay, here is the default zone. You can also create, create new. I will create. Uh, one zone so that I can remember it. I will put like internet as SD when okay, and then the member 
this one you can also add over here or you can add upstairs let's say is i click okay okay so i have one interface of sdvn and then what i need to do i need to add my connection to this uh, zone so i just create new member Okay, here you choose your ISP one, and then to the interface that we just created. Okay, here if you get the static, the gateway, you have to specify the gateway and put over here. Okay, but I will use the make. Okay. Okay, so one port has been added. I will add member and do the same thing. And it's to add the ISP two. ISP two is from port two. ISP2, okay, which interface? Internet SDVN, okay, you can put static, specify, and put the static here, okay, because my ISP and use dynamic, that's why I choose here, okay, click OK, okay, so you see, now we have a uh, two WAN that has been added, you can also see over here, okay, see over here. Is it this connection is uh, has been like uh, get some traffic okay but it has no access to the internet yet for this one okay so after you already create this i will we can say like create rule you can also create a rule over over here okay like this one i will use the full rule but this one you can also create many rules depend uh, on your uh, reference, let's say my SP1, I go to volume, I will set the traffic. Let's say I have uh, the internet access of this one, like uh, use 70 of my 70% of my internet access or internet bandwidth, and this one will use only the like 30% of the internet bandwidth, like that we just share. This one is just a simple example, everyone, but it have uh, more that uh, you can consider. Okay, let's spill over and session. Okay. Okay. And then I will uh, configure also the. Uh, okay. Let me follow this one. Okay. Okay. So after we already configured as as the event, what we need to do is to configure the static route. Okay. It is the step of config. Uh, creation of our load balancing. Okay, I will route route the traffic to the SD van. Okay, this one interface. You have to choose the interface that you created SD van. Okay, click OK. So after this step, we go to another step is to create firewall policy so that the stuff will be accessed to the internet. Okay, you go to policy and object. You see the start have on a set the internet yet is IP. Okay. Delay. Okay, firewall policy. And then we can add new. And we name it. Start to internet. Incoming our land. Upcoming to SD WAN. Okay, everyone must remember internet SD WAN because SD WAN contain ISP one and ISP two. So this one I don't specify. I will choose all. All this one also all. And make any rule, make sure that the NAT must be enabled. Click OK. Okay, let's see if our staff can access the internet. I'm not yet. Okay, 
you see now our stats can access the internet okay now what we need to configure next we need to check whether our sd van is how does it work and it's to uh, create the sla okay go to network and then perform SSL because it's only we want to know whether our ISP1 or ISP2 how does it work how does it perform in okay you it also has like the full over here you can also check over here but I, I don't I want to create another uh, one for you so you can uh, create more I will that SLA or we can say connection checking Okay. Maybe put eight eight. Okay, and it's in checking. Okay, this one I will choose all my S event member. Click OK. So you can see. You can see our ISP, both ISP1 and ISP2 has been up, okay? You can also uh, check over here. You can also see the, the graphic here, okay? Okay. Port, you can also specify the member, port 1, blue, and port uh, 2, orange. And another thing, you can also go to SD-WAN zone. And see its status over here. You can see the upload and download bandwidth. Okay, you can see by has been sent. This one also sent. That means that it has also access all the internet. It also has download and upload. You can also limit that, and you can also go to its volume. Okay, to see. Okay, by send. You can also go to see the bandwidth. Okay, the bandwidth download and upload of that land, and uh, this rule, this rule is also like important, but I just left it default. You can also specify more about more over here. Let me give another example. Okay. Okay, I will create another rule. This rule, there are, there are a lot of things that we can do. Like uh, we want uh, ISP one connects to like Yahoo and ISP two connect to YouTube and Facebook, or you can also specify the uh, ISP1 connect to your web server and your ISP2 uh, connects to like like web server 2 or web, ser web server 1 like that and this one I don't want that uh, I just want to see the best uh, connection I will put internet internet balancing Okay, destination, I space on this by destination, all destination. I will choose all, any connection. Okay, and then here everyone, out uh, going in the fresh. This one, it has option that uh, you can choose like menu, meaning this one we assign ourselves, uh, which internet provider that we want it work first, okay, that we want it uh, do the operation first, or if you want like, choose mean that um, between two ISP which one is a good performance uh, so our for the get will be okay will be uh, work on that so let's say is I uh, choose manual okay and then interface that I want it to work if you want the ISP one uh, perform the task first you have to choose uh, ISP one but if you want to ISP two perform the task first you have to choose ISP two now I want to perform my ISP1 perform the task, okay, and then my ISP2, okay, and then you just click, okay, okay, over here. And if you want to down, down one specify, you can choose the best quality and choose both ISP, so the for the get will be uh, work for you as well, okay. But I want to specify because that I know my uh, connection, which one is uh, my main bandwidth and which one is my uh, secondary bandwidth, okay. Okay, so. You can also go to choose to see the zone here. Okay, zone here. 
okay okay over here you can see now it's it has been working and if you want to like specify more you can go here okay status or you don't want to see the active session or gateway or course you just want to see download upload it just uh, anti it and then it will show the speed of download and upload of it and you can also go to see the log even as given okay And then it will show uh, the log that your traffic has uh, access. You see, here is our traffic as we went, as we went. Okay, a lot. Okay, and let's say it's my, my S, one of my SP down. Uh, what happened? Let's see. Even though one ISP is down, the connection should be work fine. Now let me test uh, to show you together. Okay, let's say my ISP1 is down. Status PC board. Okay, see? Everything. You see? We still have the internet access. And if you want to go to see our perform SLA, it will be show one connection is down as well. Okay, you see? They said ISP1 is down. And if we, if we go to check our uh, zone, okay, you see our, our zone, our ISP1 is too gray and the traffic is delayed while for the ISP2 is still uh, working. Okay, uh, so that's all for today's lesson. If you want, uh, to understand more clearly, you can go to uh, for the get book to see more about how to work on the SD WAN. Okay. Uh, okay. So that's all for the lesson. I hope that you find this lesson useful. See you in the next video. Bye bye.